Hey guys, Mechanic CG here. Before we get into this video, I do want to announce that we are doing a giveaway for three Car Mechanic DLCs. So if you do want to get your hands on those, then click the link in the description and enter the giveaway. Um, and also, tomorrow, if all goes well, there should be Need for Speed Heat gameplay. If there's not any Heat gameplay tomorrow, then it should definitely be starting on Friday. So stay tuned for that, subscribe for that if you're new um, and yeah hopefully you enjoy the video hey guys mechanic CG here and today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be upgrading this Dodge SRT Hellcat um, I think no this isn't the demon um, so this car is sort of the one just below the demon so it's like a super powerful challenger but not quite the top of the range drag car um, the demon is like crazy, but if you look here, this is the Hellcat one. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the performance of the car as much as possible. Um, I still actually have the Porsche from the last episode in pieces after the uh, game crashed. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to drop the gearbox out. We're going to take a lot of the parts um, that we need out. Um, and then what we're going to do is drop the engine out afterwards entirely. Um, what is the gearbox looking like? Hang on, does this gearbox have an oil pan? Interesting. We go take the starter motor out, and we should be able to take the gearbox out. Um, I don't think any of those will need taken out, um, but we will definitely need to drain the engine. Um, this car is actually in perfect condition, so yeah, everything is there that needs to be there. Right, let's lower this down. Oh, there we go. Right, let's uh, remove the engine. There we go. There is nothing there anymore. Um, so the rest of the car can actually stay there um, because of the fact that we're not um, upgrading any of this stuff. The only thing we're going to be upgrading is this, the OHVK parts. Um, but other than that, everything else can stay. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a brand new engine. Uh, what engine does it use first? Uh, it uses a OHV Hemi B. Oh. Um, one thing I have noticed is this game actually runs a lot smoother lately. Um, so I don't know whether that's because they've done a um, upgrade of sorts, um, like updated it, made it all improved and everything. Right, so what we need is a load of OHVK parts. So what we're going to do, we're going to... What is going on? There we go. OHVK uh, OHVK Right, uh, let's. Uh, I think we need to flip this round so that it's easier to get underneath. There we go. Um, right. Crankshaft, 
and then we need all our pistons and bearing caps. So we need piston rings. Uh, we also need... What else do we need? Rod caps. It's been a while since I've played this, so um, I've sort of forgotten some stuff. Uh, rod caps. Bearing caps. Uh, we only need three of them. And we need the pistons themselves. So uh, we need a... Piston with Conrad improved performance one. There we go. Eight of those. And then we also need our oil pan. Uh, V8 OHV and then a OHV K. There we go. Ah, oh, they use OHV Cs. That makes sense. And we also need OHVC piston rings. There we go. Come on. There we go. We're in. And our final piston with comrades. This engine is one of the most... Um, oh, I've lost the cursor. There it is. Uh, this engine is one of the most powerful like V8s out there at the moment. I think the only one more powerful is probably the Zenvo engine. And obviously the Demon engine. But the Zenvo engine is like custom with like... What? Two twin turbos, a supercharger, and a whole load of other stuff. There we go, and our final rod caps go in. Let's fit the oil pan. And our, um, why is it using just a normal V8 oil filter? I am buying the wrong of everything today. There we go, oil filter. Let's flip this round. Those piston heads look so weird. They don't look normal. Uh, right, so what we need to do, we need to get our piston heads. Um, which ones are we using? OHVKs. So uh, let's take a look at the tuning shop, see if we've got any. OHVK. Uh, we need engine head B OHVK as well then. Oh my gosh, he's got the most awkward valve push rods ever. Um, one thing we do need is 16 spark plugs.
There we go. absolutely loads of these fiddly little parts that we've got to put in spark plugs spark plugs and more spark plugs Uh, Rocket Arm OHV. Is it OHVK? OHVK, yes. Um, and then the engine head cover. That is a very bright engine head cover, though. Um, okay, so we've got OHVK ignition coils. Uh, one thing I do want to take a look at is if we've got any camshafts for this. OHVK camshaft uh, and ignition coils for the OHVK. There we go. Oh, these are screwed in, these ones. There we go. And the final ignition coils. Oh, that's so shiny from the lights. There we go. Half of halfway done. Spark plug, spark plug, spark plug. So many spark plugs. We need more of them. Imagine if the Bugatti Veyron just had like 20 spark plugs like per cylinder. I know that's unrealistic, but like four. That'd be insane. Supercharger. Do we have a performance supercharger? OHVK supercharger. That's what I like to see. Okay, so we need OHVK fuel rails and also an OHVK throttle. Um, OHVK throttle is sorted out.
Why do we need a fuel rail cover? That's a weird thing to have just for the fuel rail. Right, so we need to take a look back at our OHVK. Um, I think we also need... Idle rollers. There we go. Uh, timing chain. Let's chuck that on. So we need a normal alternator, al uh, alternator, and a I4B power steering pump, um, which we can get from here. Alternator. Uh, one thing I can't forget is a fuel pump and the fuel filter, which we will swap out later. And the I4B power steering pump. V8. Uh, crankshaft thing. There we go. And a belt tensioner. Right, so we need OHVK exhaust manifold. Exhaust, uh, OHVK. And there we have it, the entire Hemi engine upgraded. Um, that's not the right button, it's that one. Okay, so let's drop this back into the car. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, take out all the exhaust, all the other parts that can be upgraded. I'm hoping it's that one. Yes, that looks right. Right, let's take a look under the car, see what stuff we can take out. I know for sure we can take that out. Uh, 
Um, that's interesting. Battery in the back of the car. Um, right, so V8, OHVK, rear and middle mufflers. And front exhaust section as well. We don't have any performance exhaust for it, unfortunately. That's kind of disappointing. Um, what else is performance? I think that's it. Um, oh, the gearbox. Yeah, that's another performance part. OHVK. Let's see what the difference is with this. Oh, nice and shiny. There we go. In goes the starter. And then we should be able to put a drive shaft on. Right, next what we're going to do is we are going to take the tyres off. Um, compare them to what we currently have, work out which is front size and rear size, and then we're going to put the fattest tyres we can on the rears and the fronts we can just put normals on. Um, obviously we're going to change them to slick tyres on the front as well. There we go, that is the tyres removed. Right, so we've sorted out our tyres and we are going to mount them, making sure we mount the correct ones. So these are the fat tyres that we've got for the rears, which are massive. And they're actually too big for the wheel arches, but they are needed for the amount of power that we've got. Um, and these ones. Should have put some extended travel on them, actually. Um, see if I could get um, wider wheels. One thing... So, obviously, in like my final car mechanic video, I'm going to say like exactly what I want. Because I've definitely said all sorts of different stuff. But one thing I do want to see is like a drift kind of build thing. Where you can fit in like lowered suspensions... Um, all sorts of stuff, the extended wheel arches, like upgraded arches and being able to upgrade the rear fenders as well as the front. That would be amazing. Um, I think everything is in there except for oil. Oh, air filters, where are they in this car? air filter is here right let's go and uh, fit in a performance one There we go, nice red one. And put all the clips on. Right, uh, let's go and take this to the paint shop first. There we go, paint car. Uh, so we're going to take a look and see what liveries we've got. We've got the Hellcat. Uh, 
I quite like that one. Um, and I am going to have it in... Make the colour more saturated. Hellcat Red. Needs to be done in Hellcat Red. That looks stunning. Right, let's move it to the dyno. It should be in a good condition to drive. Proceed with the dyno test. I'm predicting over a thousand horsepower. 1,110. That's more than I thought because I was thinking around about 1,050. But yeah, that is a good number. Um, and we've got a lot more newton meters of torque as well. Um, let's move you to the entrance again. And we are going to go to the drag strip. Those tyres look ridiculous. I mean, look how extended they are because they can't go any further into the wheel arch. Hellcat, let's go. Ugh. I'm very tired today. Oh, tomorrow should be Need for Speed Heat gameplay, so hopefully we can do that tomorrow. That would be amazing. Right. Ugh. Fair enough. Sub 20 second naught to 180 miles an hour with a 329 top speed, which is nearly 200. Um, that's actually really good. Right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Um, I mean this, obviously we're going to be doing this kind of format of doing one video every week for car mechanic and it but we are doing the whole car in the episode rather than doing um parts of it like we did before um but hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe and if you want to help support the channel hit that join button uh buy one of the subscriptions it would mean the world to me and it really does help support and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.